Hi, this is Anthony Madrigal, and today we're going to be learning how to make print and cut stickers. Unlike simple vinyl cut stickers, print and cut allows us to print full color designs on sticker paper and then cut them out using a vinyl cutter. To get started, we want to make sure we have a few things. First, we will want to get some sticker paper. Paper can be bought for 50 cents a sheet at the front desk. Later on, we will need to use Roland Cut Studio. So make sure you know where that is on the vinyl cutting laptop. Lastly, before we get started, make sure you've checked out the intro to vinyl cutting video on our YouTube channel before tackling this project. Watching that video beforehand will be a big help for this project. Hi, this is Anthony Madrigal. From before we start, this should be what the workstation looks like. Clear away any trash, put away any tools, and make sure that this is done before you start Otherwise, you may be asked to stop what you're doing and clean up before continuing. Turn on the computer and make sure to close any windows that are already open. Ensure that the vinyl cutter is connected to power and to the computer via USB cable. Also, ensure that the printer is connected to power and unload any paper currently in it and store it in the drawer below. The printer is Wi-Fi connected. So don't worry about a USB cable. With a clear workspace and the computer turned on, now let's turn on the vinyl cutter itself. The last thing we need to prepare is our inkjet printer. If the printer is already on, you may see a prompt that says plain paper, confirm or change. Just press the home button to escape. To turn on the printer, press the power button. If there's no blue light around the power button, Make sure it's plugged in and then hold the power button to turn it on. Now open the feeder on the back if it isn't already and load your sticker paper. Make sure the glossy side is facing up. It's easy to misload, so make sure you are right between the blue tabs and flat against the back. When the paper has been loaded, you will be prompted with the same screen as earlier. Just press OK to confirm. And now we're ready to go. The first thing we need to do is choose an image to turn into a sticker. This can be an image downloaded from the internet, an art piece made on an iPad, or a photo of your own handmade artwork. In any case, you will need to download your image as a PNG or a JPEG to the computer. If you are using a PNG, make sure that it has a white background or the image goes all the way to the edges. Any open space that's transparent will turn black in the next step, and that would be bad. If you have an image on your phone or iPad, you can try emailing it to yourself and opening your email on the vinyl cutting laptop, then downloading it. Ask for help getting your image onto the laptop if you need. Now that we have an image on our laptop, we can get it ready for printing and cutting. To do this, we will be using Roland Cut Studio, the software made for our vinyl cutter, the Roland GS24. Start by double clicking on the Roland Cut Studio icon to open the software. Once the software is open, you may notice a floating box. This won't always be the case, but if it is, drag it by the top and put it in the top bar somewhere. First, we need to set up the software for print and cut stickers. Press File, Print and Cut, and then return to File again, and press Printing Setup. Now set layout points to 3. Press Fit into Shaded Area for cutting and printing. Set Left Margin to 0.75 inches. Set Right Margin to 0.25 inches. Press OK. After hitting OK, you will return to the main workspace of Roland Cut Studio. Now we are ready to load our design into Roland Cut Studio. Press Import, then select your image. Double check that there are no unexpected areas or black backgrounds. These will show up on the final stickers. Remember that you can adjust the size of your image using the control points or dimensions menu. It is important to size things right now. 
If you need to guess, take a look at a ruler and see what looks right. If you need a reminder of how this works, check the intro to vinyl cutting video. Next, we need to do a vectorization. If you don't know what this means, that's okay. Just think of it like outlining important areas that the vinyl cutter can use to follow and cut out your design. Select your image by left clicking, then right click and click image outline. Now adjust the middle slider labeled alignment image density until you have a clean black and white image outline displayed in the window. Make sure not to adjust too far up or down. This can result in overly simplified or fuzzy traces. Once you're happy with the result, press extract contour lines. Notice that blue trace lines will appear. Then press OK. Before doing anything else, while the newly created lines are still selected, press right click and break polyline. Immediately after, everything will be selected. To deselect, click away from your image and newly created cut vector. This allows you to separate the different parts of the design. Once you do this, you are going to want to delete everything except for the parts you would like to be cut out. This can be done by left clicking on a line to select it and then pressing delete. Unless you want something very specific, you should delete every line except the one on the outside. To check there are no leftover cuts inside, make sure you're using the selection tool and then drag a box that covers everything except a little bit of one side of your design. If anything shows up as selected, make sure to delete it. Now you should have just one line following the edge of your design. Next, we're going to create an offset either inside or outside. Click away from everything first so we can start fresh. Now select your outside edge with left click. Next, go up to the top of the screen, click object, then offset. Now we have our two options, offset in or out. Inside will create stickers like this and outside will create stickers like this. Choose which one you want. If you want an inside cut, set to 0.03 inches. If cutting outside, set to 0.125 inches. You can mess around with these numbers as well once you're comfortable. Press OK when you're happy with your border. This will create a new line either inside or outside, whatever you chose. Now once again, click away to deselect and then very carefully select the line from before and delete it so that only the new line we created is left. Go ahead and create a layout of all the stickers you wanna make. To make multiple of the same sticker, just box select your sticker and the cut line, then press Ctrl C to copy and press Ctrl V to paste. After pasting, you will want to move your sticker to an open space to be made. If you have unselected your sticker copy, reselect it now and hover the mouse over a place where the cross arrows icon appears. When you see this icon, you can hold left click and drag it to wherever you want. Just make sure to keep it inside the dotted lines as they are the limits for where we can put stickers. Now we're going to print out our sticker sheet before setting it up on the vinyl cutter to cut them out. Press print on the top toolbar and check that the printer is ET-2850 series network. As a reminder, our paper should still be set up from earlier in the video. If it's not, go back to watch that part again now. Next, click on properties and make sure that the paper type is set to ultra premium paper glossy. Now click OK and OK again. This is when your print should start. If you're having issues printing, it can help to lightly but firmly press down at the top of the paper sheet 
as it begins to feed into the printer. Printing will take some time, so be patient. If any errors arise, inform a staff member or volunteer and they will be able to help you as soon as they can. Once your paper is done printing, you're going to grab it and come over to the vinyl cutter and lightly press this lever back to make sure the little wheels are up. You can wiggle the lever to see what it looks like when the wheels are down versus up. Now we're going to place the printed sticker paper into the vinyl cutter, making sure that the black dots are oriented in the shape of an L. To load our paper correctly, we must make sure of a few things first. First, align the paper using one of the ridges over the front. Make sure the paper covers the sensor. Now also make sure that the two sides of the paper are under a white bar. Finally, ensure that there is a wheel aligned to each side over the paper. Now keep holding onto the paper and with one hand, check that you are aligned to the ridge, edges under white, and wheels on edges. Now pull the lever to lock it in. Now you can let go. Now we need to tell the machine to measure our material. Come over to the interface of the vinyl cutter and go down and select piece by using the arrows. Click enter. Now we're ready for the final step to start the cutting. As a safety reminder, keep your fingers clear of this area after we hit start. To start the job, we need to come back to Rolling Cut Studio, hit cutting, confirm that the settings in the cut window match all of the following, and press OK. The machine will start by scanning the black dots on the page. It's common for this to fail once or twice. If it does, go to the machine display, press menu until you see the word unsetup, then press enter. This will reset the machine and you will need to go back to piece and run that again. After resetting, go back and start the cut again. When the job is done, the machine will stop moving. You should wait at least five seconds to ensure it is done. To unload the sheet, simply press down the lever and pull your sheet forwards out of the front of the machine. Congratulations, you have successfully made your first sheet of print and cut stickers. If you run into any unique problems or have any questions at all, please leave a comment and don't hesitate to ask a staff member or volunteer for help if you need it. Again, my name is Anthony Madrigal and this was the project video for Print and Cut. Be sure to check out the Learning Center at ideacentervta.com for more info.